All right, we are back. So it may not look like it right now, but the lake's real low. And those rocks down there is where people would actually be swimming in the summer. So we're gonna give it a little go, do some treasure hunting, see if we can uh, find some jewelry or something down there. All right, find something good, I'll turn you back on. Okay, I got a nice 12, 13 here. So this is probably gonna be a nickel. Might be a pull tab. So of course what we're really hoping for is a gold ring. There it is. Here's our first good target. Nickel. Alright, there's a penny. So I got this Panther Martin here. Look, somebody covered two of the barbs. I guess they only wanted one barb. How weird is that? Okay, so I can't show you everything because this would just be too long a video, but here's a nice high tone. Let's see what that is. I mean, yeah, there's been several pennies and some fishing weights and things. I'm showing you art. These rocks are kind of nice because when people go swimming, if they lose it, they probably aren't getting it back because they'll never be able to see it. It'll slip down in between a rock or something. That'll be the end of it. Okay. So I hear it right down in here. Hopefully the ground didn't freeze on me too much. Did get kind of a cold snap. Oh, look at that. We got a ring. That's sweet. Oh, you know what that is? I can't even believe it. That is so cool. That. <laughs> so that's a agate on there. Man, I just found an agate ring. Uh, last fall. This one's a Manza. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's for sure silver. Look how pretty that is. Uh, I hope this is focusing for you guys. Now, I know this is going to be silver. But I just want to check the mark because if it says sterling instead of 925, then it's probably even older. Yeah, see, that's a Montana agate right there. That is so amazing. Okay. Let me look. Okay, just as I suspected, it says sterling. So, this is probably a little older just because they kind of went away from using the word sterling in the 70s. So, cool find. Boom. Swimming areas, man, never fails. This is like a dream sound. Too good to be true. 1110. That's like a really nice gold ring sound. But, <clears throat> see it? Beaver tail. <laughs> Dang it. There's a nice old piece of lid. I'll go get in the recycle bucket. Hey guys, if you're not recycling your lead, and brass, and aluminum, you guys are just throwing money away. Oh, look at that chunk. That's a huge one for around here. <laughs> well, there's a nice green nickel. I could just as easily have been a gold ring. But the nice thing about green ones like that, you know, it's been there a little while. Look at that crazy piece of lead. So I've been digging clad and stuff like crazy. I just haven't been showing you. Hopefully, I'll get something else cool to show you. Other than that awesome ring. See what we can get. Oh man. I wish I could replay what this sounded like. I mean, I was just like, should I even dig that? Of course I should. Look at that. Uh, that's gotta be gold. Jay. 
Oh, see, I think I was catching the edge of it. And it just sounded so terrible. Let me clean this sucker up. I mean, I guarantee nine out of 10 people wouldn't even dig that. I felt like not digging it. How dumb is that? Yep, see it in there, it says 14K, baby. Kid got some gold. <laughs> well, Jay, whoever you are, thank you. Man, I wanna see if I can try to redo that sound. Man, that was terrible sound. See, I think it was like, kind of on the edge like this. Let's see. Can you hear that? Listen to that. It's barely coming up. I'm gonna. That's almost as bad as it sounded. Anyways, it sounded so bad. But look at that. Got me some gold, man. Man, I love swimming holes. They just always, always seem to work out. Just gotta stick with them. I mean, I've dug a ton of, like you say, clad, fishing learners, fishing weights. There it is. Gold. All right, I think I'm done for the night. It's been a long day. I get up at four in the morning for my work, so I think it's time to head out. But I think I'm going to hit another stretch of beach tomorrow night. Wow, what a great hunt. All right, stick around for the wrap up. All right, guys, let's check out the loot on this hunt. So, we did really good on the lead. There's some big chunks in here. And like I was saying, this is all money, guys. Don't throw this stuff away. You can recycle it, and they'll pay you for it. So, what I do, I've got my lead. I separate out my aluminum, my brass, and copper. And I just have, you know, buckets. See, and I just throw it in there. And, you know, it's money, guys. <clears throat> Might as well uh, make money off the garbage you pull out of the ground and use it to buy more equipment or gas money to the next hunt. So, All right, so here's the coins. Wasn't real heavy in coins tonight. Did get quite a few nickels. I always kind of like to look at the nickels especially because I feel like those could all be gold rings. Gunner's whining. He must want a snack. All right, so now the good stuff. Now, I would have been happy just finding this. You know, that would have been an awesome hunt. That's such a cool ring. I just love these agate rings. All right, let's do a little weigh-in on this sucker. All right, so... Looks like seven, seven grams of sterling silver. And then this ring, I feel like this ring is like a custom ring, but this is 14K. And looks like we've got a little over four grams of 14K. So not a bad little hunt, guys. I mean, this was just after work, a few hours, <clears throat> just doing a swimming hole. Those things always seem to pay off. It's one of my favorite things to do. 
you know, people go swimming, their fingers shrink, and off comes the rings. So, all right, guys, make sure you subscribe so you can check out the next one.